Okay, y'all, what up? This is my little quick weave, y'all. Never had a quick weave before. Uh, I guess it's just what they say, a quick weave. But, uh, I like it. I like it. The, um, oh, shit, the, uh, the tracks was way up here, y'all. But that was taken care of and fixed today. We ran out of hair. She actually did this yesterday, but ran out of hair today. So I had to wait till the beauty supply store got open today and go get another bag of hair. So now it's done. And I'm glad. Guys, it's so hot. But, you know, I, I don't think it's going to take a real long time for this hairstyle to grow on me. I like it. I like it a lot. Even though I will never use glue in my hair again. Now, this was done with some type of white glue. Um, yeah, some type of hair glue. It was white glue, but I don't care what type of glue, purple, green, it don't matter. I don't want no more glue in my hair. Okay, I didn't know much about a quick weave style. Like I said, I never had one. It's my first one. I'm not hating it. <clears throat> but I'm also, uh, it's just gonna take me a little while to get used to. Yeah, I had to take those braids down. The same lady that did my braids did this. Um, we was going back and forth too, y'all. We was going back and forth a little bit yesterday. Really today though. Because I was kind of thinking like, damn, you know, a lot of people are not really into, excuse me, the health of, of, of a person's natural hair. And I'm into that. You know, that's why I've been wearing braids and, you know, protective styles to protect my natural hair. Um, I haven't been growing it out all these years to take it out with some new style. Well, it is new to me. I know the quick weave is not new, but it's new to me, okay? So, all I'm gonna say is this. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. She got it panned up right here, guys, because it's so hot today and humid. Like when she put these curls in, she had put some pins in them to make sure that they stayed out because I know it's not gonna last because it's just so hot out here. It's just so hot. So, she didn't comb out the curls and just left the curls up here at the top period, you know, because they're going to fall anyway. <sighs> yeah, my lips is dry. Guess I put on my damn lips. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go get me some greens now because I want some. I want me some greens, so I know I just had some. A couple weeks ago, that was a long time ago to me. Greens is my favorite food, so I need to get me some. So, I'm gonna... This is gonna be a recipe video, y'all. It's gonna be a recipe video. I'm gonna go get me some damn greens. And I'm gonna get mustard and turnip. I really like those together. I hate the fact that they're so little, though. I hate that they're so the leaves are so small. I might get a couple of collars just to beef it up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go get the go get them greens though, y'all. It's so hot, you really can't do a lot out here anyway. So I figure if I'm gonna have to stay in the house, I may as well cook some greens. So that's what I'm about to do. So y'all just stay tuned in for that, okay? I'll see y'all later. actually at the Silver Mill Mall. Hey now, y'all can see all that stuff over there. Ooh, it's a nail salon right there. I do need some lashes. And again, I wear my, my magnetic lashes. And yeah, that's where I went. I went here yesterday, guys, and bought me some fruit and some uh, a sun kiss orange, a orange sun kiss, and left it, walked out without it. So, talked to the manager yesterday. She told me that she remembered and that I can come get it anytime. So that's part of the reason why I'm here. But I'm gonna leave this place and go get my green jar and take myself home. That's what I'm gonna do. 
So I guess I'll see y'all a little bit later or tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. That's right. I dropped the video today. My sister making her sauce. That's right. This video may come out tomorrow sometime. Yeah. Stay tuned in, y'all. <laughs> so much for my quick weave, y'all. I don't know what happened to it except for just sweat it out. I'm hot, okay? This is a, a hot ass hairstyle. This shit is too much. I'm trying to swoop it and uh, mold it, y'all. Okay. Uh, you see, it's. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do the little hair blog on a day where it's not too hot cause right now. It's so hot and I'm in my crib. I ain't going nowhere else and I ain't gonna do nothing to my hair. So I don't even know where to put this clip at in the, in the, in the video. I guess I'll figure this shit out. But yeah, y'all, yeah, this shit is wet and it's wet. I don't know what the hell happened to it, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> okay, everybody. Y'all, please, just please excuse this hair, okay? I am going to... Pick the greens. I do have some help with the greens. So I'm going to actually show this person how to pick greens. They never pick greens. I couldn't believe it. I had asked him to take one of the bundles out and he took out one green, one stem. <laughs> I should have recorded that, but I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see this process. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody. I'm going to let this gentleman introduce himself. First, okay. Okay, so my name is Nathaniel. I guess I'm learning how to pick greens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's. You want to shout out any social media, Facebook, Instagram, anything, or? You know? okay. Shout out to Instagram, name Nathaniel on there. So we just out here picking greens, <laughs> trying to pick greens. All right. Okay. Okay. Go. Okay, y'all, we about to get started now. This is the first thing you need to know. This is a whole bundle. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, just take it out. And you need two bags. You got one bag over there. Two bags side by side. Because one bag is going to be for the stems. And the other bag is going to be for the leafy part of the green. So, this is how you pick it. Take it off the stem. That's it? Just take it off. Yeah. And put the leafy part in here and put the stem in there. Even though that leafy part failed, though. Oh. Okay. So that's, yeah, let's do this. Okay. And try it one at a time. Okay, yeah. Cut-ups is cool, ain't y'all? Y'all cool, ain't y'all? Right. Okay, now y'all can see me that much. All right. I'm going to try to dip in here a little bit, y'all. But y'all know this process. Oh, my God. So No, just put that whole one in the leafy one. Sometimes I keep a little bit of the stem on mine because it's more healthier. But this will make it easier for you, though. While we women do this. While we, we kick it. <laughs> right. <laughs> women be doing is why y'all be kicking it. Yeah, y'all, y'all. So. I see why y'all got to We gonna be first at the day, y'all. Really? See it, right? Okay. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but this will be easier, look. Instead of doing it one by one, just take the whole thing like this and rip it off. That's much quicker. See? Just take the whole thing off. That's pretty much it. So I got mostly easy, turnip. Easy. Yeah, turnip, mostly uh, turnip and mustard, y'all. I did get, I think, one or two bunches of the collard. And that was it. That's just to make it a little bit beefy because y'all know greens, mustard and turnip greens are very, very thin leaves and they, they just shrivel up to me. I mean, normally... <laughs> 
I know what you're thinking about when I'm not saying that. But anyway, y'all, uh, <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, the collard greens is more sturdy, and that's why I like cooking them because it's easy to cook them. But but with the turnip and the mustard, it's so tiny. You know, it's it's you really just do like this, really, and be through because you can't really take all that off. And I do like to keep a little bit of the stem, like I said, on my grain. So it's part of the stem. So that's it. Yeah. This these little straight hairs, y'all keep getting in my mouth. This is not fun. It's not fun. That's how we pick this. I really pick the greens. Yeah, you pick the greens. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I got my meat on. This time I got some smoked riblets, which I normally don't cook with my greens. Just doing something a little different. But I got some smoked riblets, some smoked pig tails, and I think some smoked turkey neck. Smoked turkey neck. I got no neck bones. Neck they didn't have no neck bones at all. I couldn't believe it. They didn't have none. So I got stuff I got. But it's cool. I don't make it work. I had too much meat in my greens last time, though. I took the rest of the greens. Well, it wasn't much meat. It was, too much, I mean, meat it was too much meat. It was too much meat. I had made them for my sister and she took most of the greens. She got some of the meat, but she took most of the greens and left a lot of the meat. So, <laughs> I know. So, I, I really don't just want to eat all the meat like that. You know, I make it with the greens. So, I gave it to my uncle. And my uncle was like, you really, really did have a lot of meat in those greens. I'm like, yeah, because I didn't even want to eat it. So, I guess we gotta... That one went down. Sometimes it can be when it ain't nothing else to do. And it ain't nothing else to do, guys. Not really. It's super hot here and everybody just trying to stay cool. So. It's hot outside, too. Super, super hot. Here. 98. That's today. what it is? Yeah, it's supposed to be 98. Oh, today. oh no. And tomorrow, I heard it's going to be a dinner and a honey. I don't believe it, though. I, I believe it. Myself. We did have a, almost close to 100 already this summer. We did. is to wash it, which I'm going to do all that and I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Because with collars, it's just, it's easy to wash collars. Especially if you get some clean ones. So you might want to start there guys, when you picking your greens, make sure that you don't see a bunch of bugs or grit or dirt you know, in them. You know, look through them. You try to pick the cleanest ones. If you see any that's this color real light like this, I don't want to do a stem bunch. Okay. So, I try to pick the clean looking greens from the beginning. No, but no greens with all these pink. I know. And this ain't even it, you know, but still got. Oh my God. There's five in here. I got ten, y'all. It's five. There's five Ooh, up God. in here. Right. See, that's an ugly yeah, green. Y'all gonna do a lot. It's an ugly green right here. Now, one of these is an example of what goes to the garbage. Um, having right. patience. Yeah. With them collars, I be going to town picking them because, like I said, they easy. It's much different. See, these are just more complicated because you got small leaves and then it's turning into a big leaf down here and you just want to take all of that and rip it off but sometimes it breaks and I hate that. I hate that. So. So. First process. Picking the damn 
meat on, been on for, I don't know about how long it's been on. Would you say hour? That meat been on about an hour, maybe? Been on an hour? Possibly. Possibly an hour. Anyway, guys, we are going to finish up here. And I'll be back. So stay tuned. And everybody. Turn up. Say bye to the people. You said that. <laughs> Turn up like the greatest. Say bye to the people, dear. Deuces. All right, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned. Oh, that's actually a video. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, that's a video? video? Yeah, I'm changing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, everybody, and this is pretty much how I wash my greens. Like I said, it depends on how dirty they are. These don't look so dirty. So I'm just going to just wash them. Wash a little bundle of them. Wash another little bundle of them. Going through all of them. And then after this, I'm gonna go and Separate them like this. Wash them off and then put them in a bowl or a plate or something to put them into the pot. So this is pretty much this process right here, everybody. You wanna make sure you don't have no gritty greens. You don't wanna have bugs. You don't wanna have hair in it, which is why I tied my hair up. Cause this is some flyaway shit I got on my head. And it will fly in this damn food. So, got my hair tied up. You can show just so they can see that. So they can see, okay, got my hair tied up, y'all. All right. You can go back to the greens now, there. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> All right, so, let me go through this, y'all. And I will be back once all these greens is in the pot. And right before I season, show you guys what I season my greens with. As you can see, this bag is mostly the turnip and mustard. So in the other bag, I think it's pretty much the same thing, except for it's two bundles of collards. So stay tuned in. Okay, everybody. I'm about to cut this onion up. Just got one, no particular way, just cut it up. Gotta have onion in here. And I'm also gonna put some garlic too. Oh shit, y'all I'm so hot in here. So show the people how I'm sweating. See that? They are slaving y'all, slaving. Okay, here go the onion. All right. All right. Okay. I'm actually going to separate some of them. Okay. But anyway, that's the onion. Next ingredient is some sugar. Okay. Going in here. Not too much. I don't like sweet greens. I use sugar as an ingredient only. Not too sweet. Okay. So then after that, I'm gonna put some vinegar in there because I do got some collards and I want them to be a little tender. So I'm gonna put some vinegar up in here, y'all. That's probably about two or three tablespoons. That's a lot of grains in here. They gonna cook down, it ain't gonna be that many. So then after I put that in there, I'm gonna find me some black pepper. Let me. I'll be back, guys. Let me find some more seasonings. All right, so crushed red peppers for a little bit of spice. Put as much as you like. I, might, I like mine a little spicy. I think that might be enough. Ooh, shit. Okay. And a little bit of garlic. I got some minced garlic in here. See right there. A little bit in here, y'all. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. And that's it for this batch so stay tuned in guys when it's actually done and ready to eat 
So we're checking on these here brands. And they are looking good. Super hot. Shit. Super hot. And these are the turnip and mustard. And like two bundles of collard, mostly turnip and mustard. And this is what it's looking like. Still cooking it. It's about 10, almost 10.30 here. See that pepper in there. A little spicy this time. But yummy. The smell in here is it's intoxicating. Okay, that's all I can say. That's the best word to use for it. You just keep smelling this good, good smell. And you just want to eat. I mean, it literally makes my stomach growl. I'd be so hungry waiting on these greens to get done. It's always such a treat. <laughs> Cook with love. Definitely. And this hair, y'all. I ain't feeling it. I was feeling it yesterday when it first got done. But I ain't feeling it today. Okay, be honest. So, I don't know if it's just laying here and ain't nothing done to it. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm going to eat this out. You know, birthday next week. Uh, I'm going to eat this out. I ain't no motherfucking way. <laughs> I'm wearing this for my birthday. This, To me, this is just the ultimate in ghetto. You know, I could be ghetto sometimes, but damn. Uh, this ain't gonna work for me. I'm gonna have to figure it out, y'all. I'm gonna have to figure it out. So I'm thinking about a lace front. And um, contacted my girl Monday. She owned a salon. I've already seen her lay some lace down and just ask her if she could do my shit, you know, so that it's really cute for my birthday. Cause this ghetto shit. This ain't gonna get it. Nah. This ain't gonna get it. Mm-mm.